using jazz and open services for lifecycle collaboration links to integrate data both across and down the vCycle for complex systems development. Russell Dawes, Quality Manager, Team Cons and Rhapsody will all be shown by exploring the flow through a lifecycle of a change and how it affects the different engineering disciplines. We're going to start with requirements managed in Russell Dawes to illustrate how this open architecture works in practice. Use of Dawes Web Access here also highlights an IBM strategy to utilize web browsers where possible to reduce IT costs and widen information accessibility. We're going to log in as Susan in, in her role as a requirements engineer on a water meter project. In line with best practice, separate modules at different levels of abstraction allow teams to work in parallel. Links between modules allow us to check consistency and analyze the impact of change. Let's open up the system requirements by double clicking. Susan expands the window so she can see the requirement text in more detail. If we scroll down, we can see the individual requirement objects with their doors manage unique IDs. We can also view the traceability links between modules, for example, traceability to higher level stakeholder requirements. Here we see our first example of a rich hover, a key feature of our SLC enabled products for viewing information by hovering over a link. Note we can also see the downstream traceability to software and hardware, and there are links to an OMG SysML model exported from Rational Rhapsody. We can filter traceability and attribute information using views, like windows into the same data they can be tailored to meet the needs of different stakeholders. This view, for example, shows both the upstream and downstream traceability. Let's resize the columns a bit. Most of the system requirements have been flowed downstream into implementation already. However, some have not. The solar power requirement, for example. Gold plating or flowing the wrong requirements downstream, where they're more costly to fix, is one of the main reasons for project failure. Using discussions indoors to improve collaboration between stakeholders can therefore help to mitigate this risk. All requirements also have a unique URL that can be emailed and used to launch doors. As well as traceability, this module also contains a view related to testing and verification. A verification of method of test here indicates the need for a system test. Some tests have already been created in Rational Quality Manager and linked. We can filter to only show requirements with tests using these links. Here we can see a link to the test case that covers a solar power requirement, for example. Let's double click to navigate to the test in Quality Manager. We'll log in as Tony, one of the test engineers working on the project, again using a web client. Here Tony can see that one of the test steps has a link to the DOORS requirement. He can view the information in DOORS without having to navigate using the rich hover feature we saw earlier. This script is associated with the test case part of a test plan synchronized with DOORS. Let's actually run the test now to see how test results can be captured and reported. Tony runs a test against the plan linked to the DOORS test view. He passes the first three steps, but fails the last one. When a test fails, usually a defect needs to be raised to get someone to fix the problem. This is a key handoff and the flow of information is something that Chaz can automate. To illustrate, we'll get Tony to raise a defect in the team concept project. We'll say that this defect is a blocker because it prevents a test case from being run. Since the requirement is yet to be implemented, we'll raise it against the requirements analysis team and allocate it to the current iteration. And then hit save. Let's have a look at the defect in team concert to see the links that were automatically added to it. Note, as well as links to the test plan, test case and test result, we can navigate to the requirement indoors using its URL. Let's open up the requirement using the standard doors client this time. We'll switch back to Susan's view as a requirements analysis engineer working primarily indoors. Note that the DOORS redirector service opens up the module and locates the requirement. 
First thing to note is that the discussion threads in the web client are of course visible here as well. We'll switch to the test view now to show how users working primarily indoors can harvest information from Quality Manager by running a test report command. This will retrieve information from Quality Manager about the current test result statuses. We'll close both of the Firefox windows while we're waiting. On completion, Susan can see that test results have been extracted from Quality Manager and shown in the test view. Additionally, Susan can filter by validated by links to only show requirements that have tests. Out of these four requirements for tests, for example, only one has passed so far. We can also view the test information using Rich Hover, and we could generate reports using Rational Publishing Engine. That said, the idea of sending around reports is somewhat redundant with JAS-based tools and the notion of dashboards. To understand this further, let's switch roles to Pete, a project manager working primarily in Team Concert. Unlike most project managers, Pete is not busy sending around spreadsheets and hassling people for updates. If he wants to know the project status, then he can just go to the project dashboard. The dashboard is a set of widgets tailored to provide reporting of live data mined from the Jazz Team server. You can hover over or click to get more information. Here, for example, we can see the defect that Tony created in a number of different places. The defect has already been allocated to the current release. So let's click on the plan to see what other things are being worked on. A plan is essentially a set of work items allocated to schedule. We can view the work item status in a range of different ways. The work breakdown view, for example, shows which work items are allocated to which team members as well as progress. The plan time view here is similar, but it shows time. It also shows load bars rather than progress by default. If we expand the unassigned category, we can see the defect that Tony created. Let's put initial estimate two days, and we'll assign it to Susan in her role as a requirements analysis engineer. Note that when we do this, her load bar goes up. Transparency here therefore helps us to ensure load balancing, practically preventing surprises. We'll switch context to Susan now, who is performing some systems modeling using Rational Rhapsody and Team Concepts Eclipse client. Susan's Eclipse client can be used offline, but since she's connected, it begins by synchronizing with the Jazz Team server. Susan starts by switching to the My Work view, showing a list of work items she owns. Here she can see the defect that Peter's just allocated her to fix. Again, this illustrates the value of OSLC links. She can navigate these links to find out the information she needs to complete the task. Since the defect is a blocker, she chooses to start work right away and drags it into her current work list. By setting it as her current work item, her changes will be automatically tracked against it when she checks them in. In this instance, we're going to show how changes can be tracked against the Rhapsody model, although similar capabilities can be read across to other Firebase artifacts such as source code. Let's make some changes to the main system use case diagram in the model. We'll add a new use case called Recharge using Solar Power. And we'll add a new actor called the Sun. And an association to say that the actor participates in the use case. Let's also make a change to a plot definition diagram another diagram type in the system's modeling language. We'll add a new block called Solar Power Panel and say that the handheld unit is composed of one of these. Another feature of SysML is the ability to trace elements in the model to textual requirements. Here we can see some requirements in doors. We can drag them onto diagrams and use the standard SysML satisfy relationship to show traceability to them. Let's save the model now 
and see how some of Team Concert's CM capabilities could be used to automate quality assurance processes. In the Pen and Changes view, we can see that Susan has unresolved changes. We can check these in to transfer them from Susan's local drive to a repository workspace to ensure they're backed up. This automatically associates the change with the current work item. To publish them with the rest of the team, she has to deliver them. As expected, however, the delivery operation fails. This is because Pete has enabled a quality gate in Team Concert to say that all work items have to be reviewed by a system architect before they can be delivered. Susan therefore submits a change for review instead. She suspends a change set and uses the AutoSim feature to email the comment and work item link to Pete. She then adds Pete as an approver and clicks on Finish. Team Concert suspends the changes from a current workspace to enable her to work on other stuff while the review is pending. Let's return to Pete and we'll use the browser history to navigate back to the project dashboard. Here Pete can see the work items recently modified and the widget tells him that it's pending his approval. Again, we can see the value of our CLC links. There's also a history tab on the work item that enables Pete to see a complete history of changes. In this instance, we'll go ahead and approve the review and save the work item. We can then return to Susan to deliver the changes. Here, Susan can see the review was approved by Pete. The review status is also available in the Quick Information panel. She therefore resumes the change and can then go ahead and deliver them to the rest of the team. Resolving the work item at the same time. Assuming Susan has actually fixed the issue, she could also allocate it back to the tester to retest. Susan's work is now complete. She therefore assigns a work item back to Tony. In summary, this demo focused on using Jazz and OSLC links to flow and connect information through the lifecycle of a change. We've touched on the benefits of tying information together through a range of different engineering disciplines, including test, requirements, project management, implementation and defect tracking. As we saw with DAWs, the link of information through OSLC web services allows data to be shared even when it's in different repositories. Use of this API standard means that Jazz is an open architecture allowing third-party tools to be connected. We've also touched on visual dashboards and light planning to take a proactive stance on project schedules and configuration management to capture audit trails and automated enforced process. If you want to know more, please don't hesitate to contact us or go to the jazz or openservices.net community sites to find out what people are saying. Thank you for your time.